Just a quick Hogan module update here. Uh, yesterday I went through uh, my Hogan module workout and I realized uh, it would probably be beneficial to record that and I've run through a <clears throat> kind of a composite of the critical drills, what I think are the, the six most critical Hogan module drills to do that really cover all of the uh, muscle groups and biomechanical motions that we need to work on in our bodies to get into this Hogan type of golf swing. So I've shot that video and that's been uploaded <clears throat> for the Hogan module students. If, you ha if you're a student and you haven't seen it then you definitely want to get over there and check that out. Now after doing this I went ahead and um, thought I'd take a couple videos I kind of call them swing x-rays <clears throat> and the first one that I did uh, I just swung you know the heavy 16 ounce persimmon driver and I swung that you know as hard as I could <clears throat> coming through the strike and uh, it was interesting to get this capture in these pictures here uh, you can see that the shaft is loaded on the way down but the club is coming in above the ground so there's no uh, impact force from the ball that's that's uh, putting the shaft in the you know the, the back stressed position so interesting to see that just doing the free ride down drill kind of guarantees that you're going to hold shaft flex into the strike so I think this is well, what I would consider definitely one of Hogan's more important secrets of the 39 secrets that I've identified, I'd put this one right up at the top for sure. Um, yeah, there's definitely not one secret. There's a lot of things that have to happen. In the next picture, <clears throat> I went ahead and hit a ball right after that. And in that case, you can see the uh, the stress on the shaft coming down, and then that same kind of pre-stressed shaft striking the ball. So this is really what we want to be doing. We want to be holding shaft flex through the strike. That's ultimately the objective. That's the goal for getting into the Hogan module stuff as a, as a pivot-driven hitter. After this, I was feeling you know, pretty motivated the next day, which is today, and I went out and took some videos of the free ride down drill in the Hogan modules. And what we do is we show the students exactly how to do this. Now, this is it's not easy. I'd say this is the most difficult drill to do, but I show that it's possible. It, it's not so much a strength thing as it is just a technique thing. And what it does is it really forces the issue of getting the shaft to slot correctly uh, along with the lateral move and get the shaft working down on the 430 line so that then the, the pivot can really keep pressure on the shaft, <clears throat> forearm rotation through the strike and everything that we're doing to, to pressure the, the club shaft through impact. <clears throat> I've seen improvements in my own technique as I've been working through the Hogan modules, uh, I consider myself a student of this as well. I mean, I'm far from mastering Hogan's technique uh, as precisely as, as Hogan did. Um, but certainly well on the way, and it's really been transforming my own ball striking. It's, it's really exciting stuff. Definitely have been picking up distance uh, a different look to the shot. The ball flight's very, very piercing. It also has a different sound uh, hitting the ball. And uh, it, it's been a, a really enjoyable journey to, to work through this. But one of the things that I've <clears throat> noticed uh, for myself is the improvement of the, uh, the left shoulder moving a little bit faster. So what I would consider to be in 
the Hogan modules, the ABS ver version of module three <coughs> that transfers over to the Hogan modules, there's a, a different, a slight, well, yeah, a slight variation on the module three drill from ABS that's customized for Hogan specific uh, protocols. And that's been, uh, I think, very beneficial in helping me increase my uh, post-impact rotational speed, which keeps pressure on the shaft longer. And this is where you see that kind of extended finish that Hogan would have with the shaft very extended up into his finish. But it's not a contrived position. This is something that's happening through dynamics, that the left shoulder is out racing the hands which are out racing the club shaft and the club head so this is created dynamically not just by throwing the right arm at it and extending through and gliding into a finish this is work all the way to the finish which is what Hogan did you know getting inside this kind of golf swing you know it's been one continuous series of light bulb moments just going off one after another and I've been documenting this for about 10 years now as I've been working on this. So I just thought it would be <clears throat> interesting to, to share this. And uh, it helps me uh, just, you know, document my own progress also going through this as a student, too. And um, if I look back a year ago, my left shoulder wasn't working as fast as it is now. And uh, hopefully it'll continue to improve because that would be the one area where I would definitely be falling short of what Hogan was doing. I don't think anybody had a stronger and faster post-impact pivot thrust and torso and shoulder rotation than Ben Hogan. Absolutely incredible. The uh, range of motion and the speed and acceleration of which he accelerated his torso into the finish working off the pressures in his feet and uh, his hip action and so forth. But we all strive to be better, get better and better and better. So in these uh, <clears throat> videos here, I just took a couple of swings of the free ride down drill. And you can see that the uh, the club head at the transition is moving down while the uh, lateral movement is, is also happening. So this drill really ensures that this is done correctly and gets the club shaft and the club head into the, the right position. So it's very, very powerful stuff. Not easy, not easy to do. <clears throat> it takes practice and we have to uh, get the backswing right to, to set this up. But I do, I like to show this in sections because it, um, it helps keep the focus on you know, certain areas of the golf swing. And in this case, uh, you know, the backswing has to be a specific way so that the shaft can be tripped. So what's happening here is the, the shaft is being tripped and the lateral move is taking place and this is then being integrated with the free ride down. Uh, pressuring off the right foot to move laterally. The pressures are very strong on the right foot. And then the application of ABS module one and the uh, Hogan modules, we'd call that the uh, strike into impact, which is essentially the advanced ball striking module one and two, the footwork and the ground pressure. So, so accumulation of a lot of work here and uh, the journey continues. The ball striking is getting better and better and uh, it's really exciting stuff. So I just want to thank all the uh, Hogan module students that have signed up and have enjoyed working with everybody and we're already seeing some really great improvement with the golf swings and the ball striking even even the scoring. We got a nice email yesterday from a student that, <coughs> that shot his best round ever. So that's really great. So anyway, we'll leave it at that for now. Just an update. And we'll see you on the other side. Bye for now.